back to class for the fall semester for colleges and universities across the state of Ohio, including right here at The Ohio State University. A key difference this year, a two-year tuition freeze for campuses around the state of Ohio, including $240 million more in state funding. It was really a critical difference in that two-year tuition freeze. Well, it was really critical because we have affordability and access on one side and excellence on the other, and we don't want to uh, buy affordability at the expense of excellence. And so the Ohio State University helped set the standard for the state's colleges and universities to accept the Senate's plan for them not to raise tuition or fees for the next two years. Well, I think it's important that we focus on affordability for Ohioans to access higher education. And we did a lot. I mean, look, near record numbers for support for higher education. At the same time, we got 0% tuition increases for the next two years. Senator Faber's 5% challenge challenged colleges to find 5% savings in their budget to help reduce tuition. Tuition. Clark State Community College doubled down on the 5% challenge, offering a 10% tuition rebate to students. The way it works is this. A student enrolls at Clark State full-time, which is 15 credit hours in the fall, let's say, and she gets a C or better in each of her courses. The next semester, she gets a 10% rebate on that semester's tuition. She's enrolled in courses, and then as long as she keeps that C or better, she keeps getting that 10%. Ohio State plans to trim its spending by $200 million over the next five years. This is paying off immediately for students, freeing up $15 million for tuition grants. We're trying to reduce our expenditures so we generate resources. We keep those resources, we reinvest those resources in a better university. Like every report card, results count. We want to make sure that all of our students, when they leave Clark State, they're transferring to a four-year institution, if that's their career path, or they're getting a job, because community college is the gateway to the middle class. What we want to do is give people a chance to educate themselves, to support themselves and their families well. We also are a research institution, and so a big part of what we do is to produce new knowledge that helps the world uh, be a better and safer and more productive place. While I'm concerned about where Ohio kids go to college, I'm much more concerned about where Ohio college students stay and work. And we want to make sure Ohio provides those opportunities, because that's the way we build the state up, that's the way Ohio becomes stronger. Our thanks to the Champaign County Chamber of Commerce for hosting the Higher Education Forum there at the historic Copper Top Restaurant in Urbana. As always, you can find the very latest developments on higher education funding and legislative issues at ohiosenate.gov. That's front slash Republicans. That's on the web and also on our social media channels, Ohio Senate GOP. From the Ohio State University OHIO and the Ohio Senate, I'm John Fortney.